YouTube Chicks <laughs> Get ready You know what to do Chicks so listen, Chicks Smooth Hey Chicks Smooth Appreciate all the coverage that you have been doing I've been watching your shit for a while I just subscribed to your shit too bro This is not a good look for Diddy If you guys don't know Diddy officially put out a video today Apologizing for the video that came out Now very interesting in that video Diddy does not apologize to Cassie directly It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life sometimes you got to do that i was fucked up i mean i hit rock bottom but i made no excuses my behavior on that video is inexcusable i take full responsibility for my actions in that video i'm disgusted i was disgusted then when i did it i'm disgusted now I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Truly sorry. Now, I'm not sure if this public apology is going to do more good than harm for Diddy. Obviously, with that horrific video coming out, he had to say something. But if you're going to speak out after that video, you gotta show more compassion than that. You gotta show remorse. You gotta directly apologize to the victim. One of Cassie's lawyers actually spoke out and issued a statement. She said Diddy's most recent statement is more about himself than many people he has hurt. When Cassie and multiple other women came forward, Forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday. He was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false, showing his pathetic desperation and no one will be swayed by his disgenuous words. Now the very controversial Dr. Umar Johnson, he also weighed in on this Diddy apology video. He said, I'm not going to give this too much energy as we have far more important issues to address than what happened 10 years ago. However, this isn't the end for Diddy. T.D. Jakes will help him set up his own mega church, he will be saved and baptized, and will probably make more money as a pulpit pimp than he has ever as a mogul. Puffy will rise from the ashes. Now Umar did not stop there, he continued with his very controversial take. He said, I also wondered this, if Cassie was a dark skinned black woman, what did he be getting this backlash? Y'all don't go this hard when dark skinned black women are done bad every day. We need to make sure that any man who does this to women is held accountable but as for me, it's especially African and black women. There's stories of him breaking Kim Porter's nose but since it didn't make national news, ain't nobody caused no fuss. He then went on to say but off that. The cops that killed Breonna Taylor, we let off the gas. The cops that killed Sandra Bland, we let off the gas. Now, Umar, I'm sorry. This is wrong. I know why you're doing this. This is only for you to go viral. If everybody saw the video of Diddy breaking Kim Porter's nose, or Diddy breaking anyone's nose for that matter, there definitely would be the same backlash. This is one of those times where you don't have to be controversial for the sake of being controversial. You don't have to give a hot take that's different from everybody's. It's okay to say that was fucked up from Diddy's end and just leave it at that. You guys get in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about these reactions. Post your comments below. Subscribe my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. Hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop.